that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything. What's up, guys? Boy, Benny. I cannot believe what I just witnessed live. If I hadn't seen it with my own two eyes, I would have assumed this is some type of Donald Trump fan fiction. Joe Biden just had an apoplectic seizure on camera, snapping at reporters, forgetting world leaders' names, and being incapable of answering questions without a giant, massive notebook, forgetting who his son was, forgetting his own religion, probably forgetting his own name, and then having absolute panic attacks left and right when people asked him questions in a train wreck press conference answering the question, are you fit to serve in office? And the reason why that question is on the table and it is on the table and it has been on the table every single day since Joe Biden decided that he was going to run for resident of the White House and was installed by Barack Obama as a meat muppet uh, is this. There was a massive bombshell report out today from a special counsel that found that Joe Biden was unfit to stand trial and therefore ultimately unfit to stand as president. Special counsel repeatedly say that Biden is an elderly man with poor memory. Various junctions of the report mentioned that the president's memory issues being a factor, saying the president's memory is significantly limited. These are just the kind words of CNN. Go to the actual report. Joe Biden didn't remember he was vice president. He did not remember even within several years when his son Bo died. And his memory appeared hazy when describing Afghanistan debate that was once so important to him. Joe Biden did misuse special documents, but this is far more damning that the special counsel found that Joe Biden was mentally incapacitated. Special counsel report. We have also considered that at trial, Mr. Biden would likely present himself to a jury as he did in our interview of him as a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with poor memory. So here they are saying that a trial would find that Joe Biden would not be able to be convicted because he lacked the mental acuity and the serious mental fitness that would be, require a state of willfulness. Now, some of you people may say this is them letting Joe Biden off, and this is exactly what they're doing. But they're also doing something far worse, which is telling everybody what Joe Biden's mental state is. This, of course, follows James O'Keefe's report that the White House knows that Joe Biden also has dementia. So after this bombshell report, you'd assume somebody would just decide to resign or would just keep their head buried into the sand in a cave in a very, very far away place. But Joe Biden did not do that. He decided it was time for a prime time press conference with the entire world, which was such a train wreck, not just a train wreck, it was a train filled with bull and elephant manure that was on fire, that was flaming, that was flinging itself into the Grand Canyon. And this was a absolute, total and complete disaster. How bad was this? In fact, teeing all this up was CNN before the announcement, CNN of all places, saying that Joe Biden is talking about Joe Biden's diminished faculties and that his potential uh, second term after federal prosecutors admit he's unfit for office. The gloves are officially off, ladies and gentlemen. But it got so much worse. Here, listen to CNN actually set the table here. These damning uh, details that the White House is rebutting about the president's memory and about his mental faculties. And we did hear from the president earlier today speaking about this report, mm -hmm. making clear that he sat down with the special counsel voluntarily, that he did it in the days surrounding the October 7th terror attacks in Israel. But what he, what he didn't mention in those remarks earlier were these questions about his memory that were raised uh, in that report. So this could potentially be an opportunity for him to speak more directly to those concerns because, of course, they only reinforce some of the concerns that um, so many voters do have uh, about Ooh. his potential second term. And so this will be an important moment for him. They only reinforce so many concerns that voters have about his potential second term. OK, and then the press conference started and uh, it wasn't great. Biden trying to convince America he's not seen now. Every day I wear the rosary. He got me from Our Lady of glitches and freezes. Check this out. Let me tell you something. Some of you have commented. I wear since the day he died, every single day, the rosary he got from Our Lady of. Every Memorial Day, we hold a service remembering him, attending by friends and family and the people who loved him. Oh, it got so much worse after that. Joe Biden actually took questions. The first one from Peter Ducey. Uh, Peter Ducey saying, hey, uh, how bad is your memory? Oh, man. Oh, man. Joe Biden saying, I know what the hell I'm doing. Screaming, saying, I know what the hell I'm doing. And then saying, my memory is so bad, I let you speak. What a jackass. 
remember when Donald Trump, people would scream, Peter Ducey should be writing a, a, a book, right, about the attack on the free press. If this were Donald Trump, watch. Biden, something the special counsel said in his report is that one of the reasons you were not charged is because, in his description, you are a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. I'm well-meaning and I'm an elderly man and I know what the hell I'm doing. I've been president and I put this country back on its feet. I don't need his recommendation. It's How totally bad is your memory and can you continue as president? My memory is so bad I let you speak. That's you, the, that's, that's my, your memory has gotten worse, Mr. No, president. No, my memory is not good. My memory is fine. My memory. Take a look at what I've done since I've become president. None of you thought I could pass any of the things I got passed. How'd that happen? You know, I guess I just forgot what was going on. Uh, in case you were wondering if that was bad, ladies and gentlemen, it gets even worse. All right. Reporter asked many Americans, uh, people have been watching and they are concerned about your age. And then Joe Biden absolutely snaps. By the way, this is a reporter, I think, for CBS News. So just in case you're wondering if this is like, I don't know, Newsmax or Infowars. Nope. CBS News reporter Joe Biden loses his mind. Has an actual yelling aneurysm. Watch. Things that were moved, were moved not by me, but my staff. But my staff. Mr. <laughs> You would respond with the words, watch me. Watch Many American people have been watching and they have expressed concerns about your age. That is they, your judgment. They, that is your is judgment. To public that is not the judgment concerns. of the press. They express concerns about your mental acuity. They say that you are too old. Mr. President, in December, you told me that you believe there are many other Democrats who could defeat Donald Trump. So why does it have to be you now? Why, what is your answer to that question? I'm the most question? qualified person in this country to be President of the United States and finish the job I started. I did not share classified information. I did not share it with your ghost writer. With my ghost writer, I did not. Guarantee you did not. But the special counsel said it. No, he did not say that. Okay, he did not say that. But Mr. President, what are the. Let me answer your question. The fact of the matter is, what I didn't want repeated. I didn't want him to know, and I didn't read it to him, was I had written a long memorandum to President Obama why we should not be in, this, in Afghanistan. And I was of this, uh, multiple pages. And so what I was referring to, I said classified, I should have said it was, should be private because it was a contact between the president and the vice president as to what was going on. That's what he's referring to. It was not classified information in that document. That was not classified. <laughs> After all of the screaming and yelling, Joe Biden walks off stage and then was asked a question about Israel, and Joe Biden had to wobble back to the stage and to, to show his stamina. And then Joe Biden ended up mixing up the name of the Egyptian president, saying he's the president of Mexico, and refers to him as a sissy. 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 What? The conduct of the response In Gaza, in the Gaza Strip, has been um, over the top. I think that, uh, as you know, initially the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. I talked to him. I convinced him to open the gate. I talked to Bibi to open the gate on the Israeli side. Okay, so if that's the goal, the goal was to prove Joe Biden is mentally, has mental acuity, then perhaps you shouldn't be flipping world leaders' names, you shouldn't be flipping off the press, you shouldn't be flipping out, and you shouldn't be um, flipping over uh, a new pair of Depends once you leave the room. Somebody should just flat out ask him if he's on medication for memory issues, yes or not. This is a sad state for America. The Democrats choose to replace him uh, will likely be worse. They must want him out. There is no other explanation, says Megyn Kelly. This is what everybody else is saying too, by the way, on X, that this is just simply a play for them to get Joe Biden out and that they are doing this as a ritual humiliation for Joe Biden to prove how mentally unstable he is and how unsafe he is for the country, which I guess, <laughs> 
point taken. I don't often agree with the left, but if that's your goal here, you evil bastards, point taken. Final word on this is shame on the Biden family, shame on Jill Biden, especially as the wife of this uh, mongoloid monster, dementia-riddled old angry man. You bring shame upon yourself and your family by allowing this to continue. Shame upon you. How dare you do this to your loved one? You must not love this person. Clearly, you just love power and you love the fact that this man, this meat muppet can go get you some. How embarrassing. I, I'm truly, I'm like third party embarrassed for you, humiliated actually for you. What a degrading and horrifying ritual. A shame upon you, a pox upon the Biden household. Uh, let us replace the resident of the White House one way or another. I think the Democrats are gonna try and replace him before Trump does, but either way, we'll be here. It's your boy Benny, like, share and subscribe. See ya.